Patrice Tota Mess Laser Engraver Review. You need this in your workshop, an affordable addition to any workshop which opens up plenty of creative possibilities. The Totem S is easy to operate and powerful. The most advanced firmware Totem Laser Master firmware, smarter, faster, higher precision and easier to use. Specialized motherboard LKS mainboard. Support baud rate as high as 115,200, more powerful. Engraving speed could be as high as 3000 mm min. If do not consider the laser carving result, the velocity of movement could be as high as 1000 mms. Perfectly compatible system use laser gobbler lightburn, it's the most popular paid carving software in the world, very easy to use. Supports Windows XP, 7, 8, 10, Mac OS, and Linux. Compressed spot ordinary laser spot is 0.16 mm, and compressed spot is 0.08 mm. With the same power, the smaller the spot, the more concentrated the energy, which reduces the engraving time. Very suitable for amateur laser engraving to use low light positioning and free positioning. Functions.it has a large carving area of 30x30 cm and a gantry shaped design, with no restriction on carving height. The Totem S is not a standalone device, it requires a computer to be connected at all times. There is no Micros Slaughter LCD screen on the device itself, so it must receive commands over USB. Laser Gribble is free and open source software for Windows that controls all kinds of laser engravers using code, the same codes that control most 3D printers, in fact. It's included on the South Dakota card, though I did need to download an update too. You'll also need to import a configuration file with details of the Totem S and load in a set of custom buttons that let you do things like home the printer or manually turn on the laser. Warning. One of those buttons will immediately turn the laser onto full power. Don't press that. You'll end up with a nasty hole in your desk, or worse. Don't ask me how I know that. Unlike a 3D printer, the Totem S doesn't have end stops which tell it when it's reached the starter endpoint of an axis so you need to manually home the laser head each time. This is less complex than it sounds, just move the head around using the control keys, then click the button to tell it, this is home. The Cartesian coordinate system you see on the screen then correlates to where the laser head currently is located, so you can position your design and material using that. The frame preview button will move the laser head around the border of your design, showing you roughly where it'll end up, but it's difficult to be precise. Although I'd class this as an entry-level laser cutter, a 5500 MW laser module is incredibly powerful and should be treated with the utmost care. There are three things you should be wary of when using a laser cutter and engraver. The first is obvious. The laser literally burns things. Never leave the totem S unattended for any period time, and it's worth investing in an automatic fire suppression system like a fireball, as well as keeping some sort of water spritzer to hand. Second. Keep kids away and always wear laser safety goggles. I've never had a problem with my young son being around 3D printers, despite the presence of a hot end that reaching temperatures in excess of 200 C. It's easy to explain don't touch that, it'll burn you. Kids get that. But don't look at that, it could blind you is a lot harder concept to explain. A low power laser pointer can cause serious eye damage. The totem S is many times more powerful than even the most powerful legally permitted laser pointer. If the beam hits a reflective surface, there is a very real chance of permanent eye damage. Two Trees has added a small protective acrylic box around the beam to alleviate this concern, which also happens to be the perfect height for focusing. But it doesn't negate all of the risks and is only attached by a magnet. If it catches on something, it could come off easily. It's a lot easier to make things with a laser engraver. You don't need to seek out 3D models or learn complex software packages to create your own parts. You can work from essentially any image file or basic graphical design package to make logos, signs, and other works of art. You also don't need to pay exorbitant amounts for raw material to work with. Any old piece of wood, as long as it can be laid flat, can be used. You probably have a garage full of scrap wood just begging to be turned into live, love, laugh signs and flogged at the next school fate. That said, the price of acrylic is on par with PLA filaments, so it depends on what you're working with. If you stick to working with wood or card, you're using an environmentally sustainable product, far more so than even bio-sourced PLA filaments. Being able to use scraps of wood to create useful products makes a laser engraver a great addition to any workshop, and the Totem S seems like a solid choice from this beginner's perspective.